What's up folks, welcome back to Tactical Tortoise. My name is Trevi, and today I'm gonna to be running through the mods you need and the process to install Warhammer 40K on Tabletop Simulator. This process has been easier than ever, so let's dive in and talk about what you need. First off, it's right here. We need a copy of Tabletop Simulator, probably from Steam. This software usually runs about $20, but you can find it on sale for somewhere around 10. However, this is the only money you're gonna to need to spend to actually get this game. None of the other mods or files actually cost any money to play 40K on TTS. Once you have the game purchased and installed, go ahead and open it up. Unless you're playing in VR, just choose Play Tabletop Simulator. Although to be fair, the VR mode is a little janky when it comes to the 40K mods, so I would just generally recommend you play the standard version anyway. Once we're inside the Tabletop Simulator main menu, go ahead and start a single player game. From here, we get an option of different mods that we can load from the workshop. Now these two at the front here are the only two you're gonna need in order to play. I'm gonna leave links down in the video description so you can get access to these. Once you have a link for the mod that you wanna load, you can go ahead and click the browse section here. This actually just opens up a little browser window inside your game. And you can copy and paste the URL to the mod up in the URL bar at the top. The two mods that you'll need are Force Org as well as the FTC competitive map base. Force Org includes a repository of all miniatures in 40K, at least that are available online. Whereas the FTC map base includes scoring and gameplay aids. Once we have the mod pages we wanna install, just go down to the green subscribe button and click that. That will download all of the files from online onto your machine. Once that's done, we can see in our single player game, those mods are available for selection in the world workshop window. Now that those are installed, let's create an army for play. In our single player game, let's go ahead and click the Force Org mod and click that we are sure that we want to load Force Org. This will load in the mod. This is a pretty hefty one, so it may take a minute or two to come online. And once it's loaded, we can see that we have a repository of every faction in the game. In order to get access to the models for any of these factions, you can just go ahead to whichever army that you want and click load models. Again, this will go through a loading process and you may see your game stutter a little bit as as it loads the assets in from online, but that'll bring up for you a range of literally every model in the faction, at least the ones that are currently available on Tabletop Simulator. Occasionally you'll find that models or particular loadouts aren't available on TTS and proxying or modding your own is perfectly acceptable. From there, let's go ahead and use this repository of models to construct an army in Tabletop Simulator using this tool down here called Yellow Scribe. Yellow Scribe is an integration between most list building software and Tabletop Simulator, so it can spawn an an army with the correct weapon loadouts and the correct stats as well as data sheets in the game. This system works alongside most army builders that are available, at least that use the old Battlescribe data repository, which is currently being updated for websites like New Recruit and Rosterizer and are usable in those list builders. Unfortunately, the official 40k app list builder doesn't have any integration with Tabletop Simulator, so you won't be able to use that one, but you can use an app like New Recruit, which is free to use, and recreate your armies into it. We've built a little 500-ish point Ultramarines army right here for to showcase the mod. And once you have that army constructed, you can go ahead into list options, click export and click yellow scribe. Doing so will automatically copy this yellow scribe code to your army. If you don't want to use this direct export, you can instead use the official website to convert your army over. All you have to do is download the .rosz roster file from rosterizer or whatever list builder that you're constructing, drag it into the upload roster section here, and that will provide you a code to use in yellow scribe. Once we have the code, whichever way that you want to export it, you can click launch yellow scribe, and simply paste the code into the field. We'll go through another loading section here as it converts your army over to a roster, and then it will spit out each individual model loadout inside your army. As we can see, we have intercessors and a differentiation between our intercessor sergeant and our standard intercessors, infernus marines between the sergeant and the regular infernus units, as well as terminators with our separate sergeant and heavy weapon. From there, we're gonna associate miniatures in Tabletop Simulator with each of these profiles. So all we have to do is find a miniature in our vast range of miniatures here that corresponds with each of these profiles in our army. I'm going to go ahead and find the miniatures that we're looking for and drag them over to this model staging zone, which is just a nice place to put your miniatures in order to keep track of them while you're finding the ones that you want to use. So we found the miniatures that we want to use in our army. And so all we're going to do is click the profile right here, move over to whichever miniature we want to associate with that profile and click on that miniature. You should see both be highlighted green when you do that 
And once you hover over one of the profiles that has an associated miniature with it, you can see that that miniature will highlight green as well. So you can double check that every data sheet is going to the correct model. Now we're gonna do the same thing for our intercessors. We have our sergeant, our regular intercessors and selecting multiple models and then clicking on them will give you a random selection of models from the selection that you input. We also have our Infernus Marines, which we're gonna do the same thing with our Infernus Marine Sergeant, and our Terminator Squad, which includes a Sergeant, some regular Terminators, and a heavy weapon guy with a Cyclone Missile Launcher, plus a Ballistus Dreadnought. Once we have all of that selected and, and all of our data sheet outputs look green, we're gonna go ahead and create army right here. That is gonna spit out your tabletop simulator army. As you can see, each one of these models, now once we mouse over with the tooltip, has a correct tooltip with all of the 10th edition stats available for you. So you can just see what they do very easily. There are also a selection of controls you can use alongside this system. For example, the numpad control number one brings up the entire data sheet of the unit. And I have a separate video going over exactly how to play 40K on Tabletop Simulator, where I explain all of those controls in detail. For now, all we're gonna do is drag select all of our miniatures. Now I should note that there is a selection cap. I think it's some, somewhere at 80 or 100 individual objects. So if you have a really huge army, you may have to select it in multiple groups. And then you're gonna right click somewhere on one of the miniatures and click save object. We're then gonna go ahead and name our list. I'm gonna call this one test space marines and we're gonna save that to our folder. In order to access your saved objects, you can go to your objects button right at the top here, go to saved object and we can see that Test Space Marines is available to us. And we can then respawn that army with all of its components into any other game that we want to. Now we're gonna go ahead and load this army into a game. So we're gonna go back to our workshop and go to FTC Competitive Map Base. Once we load into this mod, this is where all the actual gameplay happens. Now this mod does include some basic terrain layouts. Uh, however, you can also find additional terrain layouts elsewhere online. For example, if you go to tts40k.com maps, all of my map layouts are available for download that I use for my competitive games. These are based on the Prion Nexus competitive map layouts that are recommended by Games Workshop. We're gonna go ahead and load one of these in. You load a map in onto the map base by going to the map on the Steam Workshop. You do have to subscribe to them like we discussed earlier. Clicking these three little buttons in the top right corner of the icon and clicking additive load. That will load this new mod into the existing mod. We'll then confirm that we're playing a game, confirm that the terrain looks good and we are ready to go. Again, I have an entire video explaining how all of these controls work and how to play games of Pariah Nexus 40K on the FTC map base. So I won't go into great detail here, but once we have all of that set up, we can go ahead and load our test Space Marines into this game and then get playing. So that's a very brief overview on how to install and get playing Warhammer 40K on Tabletop Simulator. All of these mods are new and I wanna shout, throw a huge shout out and some big thanks to the folks over at the Force Org mod team as well as the FTC base team. All of those people are incredible and help keep the community active over here on Tabletop Simulator. So show them some love on their Steam page. In addition, if you wanna get a ton of Warhammer 40K games in and especially competitive games, you can do so on my Discord server. I'll leave a link to that in the video description, but we play games over there constantly, not only pick up in casual games, but also regular competitive events, including free competitive pods, which are four round tournaments that launch on just about a weekly basis. And if you want to see me use all these controls, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come hang out with me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash tactical tortoise TV. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. Thanks as well to everybody who supports me either over on Patreon at patreon.com slash tactical tortoise, YouTube channel members and Twitch subscribers. All you people are amazing. Remember to keep it classy, folks, and have happy wargaming.